there, so we're going to be talking. Is, is Stan joining us, too? I haven't heard from Stan. He hasn't been up here. Um, and Tim's on the phone with Chris Harris, so I'm th that's sort of why. Okay. Hello, yeah, and Chris says he'll dial in shortly. Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, Hi, Tim. Do we... Uh, You've seen the agenda, it, updating the capsule, working history group, update from friends at Deerfield. Are there any other items that um, don't fall under those rubrics? All right, seeing none, we'll move on. Uh, first item of business is to approve the minutes for the April 23rd meeting. Uh, I have a motion to approve or discussion. Let's, I motion we approve the minutes. I'll second that, Holly. All in favor? Hi, Kelly. Hi, Holly. Diane. I approve. All right. Okay, next one up was the time capsule. Um, a couple of brief updates, I, th I think, or perspectives. Uh, I think I let it, all of us on the committee know that uh, the Memorial Park for the uh, was a definite out. We weren't going to get an archaeological license. And uh, I started hitting things with a metal detector, and I figured this is not going to work. So anyway, uh, we picked the, um, a slot in the front of the church which I think is um, works fine. And uh, it's already been kind of laid out. And when the uh, addition is added to the library, it'll be a nice joint two buildings on the campus with a, a nice memorial seat there. Um, what it, I, it, <clears throat> I just had a question. Yeah. Is the excavation gonna be, I know I noticed the shrubs that were put there. <clears throat> Is the excavation going to be in front of the bench or behind the bench? What's the deal? That's the question. I, I don't know, Holly. Um, I haven't been on the intimate layout. Uh, that's uh, what Stan and, and uh, Kevin were, were working on. So if, if Stan can come on or maybe Chris can come on, uh, he can clarify that. Uh, Chris, I see you're on uh, tonight. Yeah, I'm sorry for the delay. But um, as best as I know, because it's all been worked out locally and I'm not there, the excavation for actually bearing the time capsule will be in front of the bench at the intersection of the two sidewalks in that, in that area. And I think it's mapped out with four flags. And I, oh, told, okay. them, I told them to put American flags so that nobody takes them down. <laughs> and so I don't I don't know if that's happened or not, but um, yeah. So, and the slab for the uh, bench will go in this week, and I hear you have good weather finally where they can do that. And then the bench will sit on top of the slab, facing the town commons, and it will be oriented so that it's directly to the top uh, town commons. And, and so I told them when they when they put the what do they call it the wood frame for pouring a slab, I said put a lawn chair in the middle of it and make sure it's oriented to the town common. Yeah, and that that's that's how that's how they're going to do it when make when they make their final adjustments before pouring the cement. It's Negus and Taylor from up in Greenfield, and they do a lot with the cemeteries now locally. Um, so they're going to put the slab in and then bench they already had constructed. And so so the between the sidewalks where the sidewalks intersect and the bench is where the time capsule will go down. And we will manually dig that because we don't want to disrupt sidewalks. We don't want a lot of disruption no matter what. And, you know, Galinsky, I've talked to John Galinsky about this. They know how to dig these manual kind of grave sites. It's kind of a grave site, but it's a mini one. It's a half one. And they know how to do it and without disrupting and having collapse and all that kind of stuff. 
Uh, the the other thing I'd just add to that, Chris, is on that orientation for the bench when the uh, addition for the library is done. If you were to do 180 degrees, you're looking at the new addition for the library and the older library too. I think it's really it, we it, thought that's a nice compromise. We thought of that. We thought of that. Somebody spins around on the bench and goes and looks the other way. Yeah. No, it should. Um, well, look, let's just take a formal vote on having the site approval. Um, somebody want to make a motion? Just so we I get it. I motion we approve the site that Chris just mentioned. I I'll think it's a really it. good site myself. <laughs> Brings it back to campus like you guys were looking for. So, mm -hmm. exactly. You have a second? Yeah, I'll second it. <clears throat> okay. All those in favor? Hi, Holly. Hi, Holly. Hi, Hi Kelly. Diane. Hi. Good. All right. Hi, Peter. Okay. Um, so, Chris, what did you and Tim work out? Are we still on the same game plan here? Chris, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, I mean, so so um, we expect it's going to be difficult to dig six feet down, five by five, because of when they dug for the shrubbery, et cetera. Um, but we're good. We're good. And actually, I just learned this earlier today. The Friends of Deerfield got another, you know, modest, generous donation. And so we're good. We're good. And if the uh, DPW needs to help with any um, construction debris removal, we can arrange that through the transfer station. That was the, my part in this. So um, okay. just trying to save us some money if we don't have to dispose of debris yeah. somewhere else. So this will be a joint venture. So Mostly it's going to be John, you know, and, and Stan yeah. Adams and Alex Hershenreiter yeah. will be working with him. Is that right, Chris? I don't know. That absolutely, you absolutely. And if they need, if they find stuff, you know, they're just, you know, John Galinsky is an expert at this. And he'll say, oh, we need this removed because we're not going to put it back over the capsule. So anything that but, needs to be gotten rid of, we can get rid of. So we're good. Yeah. I don't, I don't see why. I mean, that's on, that's totally within former church property. So there's never any been a private building or anything there. Yeah, they found, they, um, yeah, to be honest with you, Peter, when they buried the shrubs, they started finding stuff. Well, you're going to have some. Not, not anything major, yeah. but it's just ashes and things like that yeah. that you wouldn't have really expected. Well, there used to be a great big two story apartment building, right? immediately adjacent to it. So there's all that kind of surface scattering. I, I think some of that has come over to the church proper, to yep. be perfectly honest. Could, well, Kevin, it's could Kevin from the highway department um, get one of those metal plates over so once the hole is dug, it can be properly covered so we don't have any accidental um, issues over there before everything's done? Yeah, absolutely. And, and by the way, he'll coordinate with Kevin, but John Galinsky knows this issue of open holes, and he does not want to dig that until two or three days in advance because he's concerned about collapse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the weather, it's weather dependent, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so the other, uh, just thinking of about this this process um one of the things that we've not done is any press announcements so what i was thinking about we can put it up on the deerfield 350 for sure tim can you put it up on uh announcements up on the town uh web page um yeah i can get assistance from pat kroll and some you know to to make sure we put that up at the the little red banner okay um, top of the page um and i was I, I was thinking of going to uh chris larrabee for yeah, after, that was my next thing after memorial day though i mean but but this week but after memorial day launching it 
and then yeah. we'll do social media on, and Deerfield now. Do you want to take care of that, or I was going to do it if you don't want to? No, I'll take care of it, Chris. Okay, because I'll give him. I'll get. To, I'll just give him a little bit of a history or flush out of it, and I'll copy you on everything, Peter. Okay. Yeah, I've I've worked with Chris on a number of occasions too. So, okay, so you'll take care of that, and uh, so Stan and Chris will coordinate with Kevin Scarborough then in terms of management of the excavation and installation. Yeah, as best, as best as I know, they're going to be on site, actually, when it happens. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, can somebody contact Jonathan Boshan? Oh, I'm in contact with him. He's, gonna, he's going to document everything. Excellent. In, including <laughs> including the digging of the hole. And, oh, our, our, and the idea is that the actual time capsule will be lowered before the ceremony. Okay. And here's why. Because if you know anything about lowering caskets or boxes, or whatever, things can go wrong. So okay. our idea is to have it lowered, but exposed to everybody that visits on June 8th. And okay. then they can throw in a flower, they can throw in some dirt, they can do whatever they want on it. But we don't want to go through the situation where something goes wrong and everybody sees it and they start panicking and and getting nervous about it but we're going to deal with funeral directors how we lower the box okay and but it'll be open obviously and then they can throw in whatever they want um whatever <laughs> i mean and then and we'll have some flowers and stuff like that there too. And then go to lunch. And by the time they come back from lunch, that thing will be covered and there'll be flowers sitting on top of it. <laughs> All right. That's our, that's, that's, our, that's our kind of plan. It's in quotes because we're still, if somebody has some input, you can tell us to do it differently. But I'm nervous about lowering it in front of a big group of people. I think that's fine, Chris. I mean, it just um, it saves that anxiety, and and um, I'm sure it's going. It'll go in the ground and be just fine. Um, but nonetheless, there's not any reason not to do it. Otherwise, the only thing I would hand on, uh, Hall, I talked to Holly just before this, and. Apparently, the beer company has a couple of cans, some select stuff that they wanted to add to the capsule. And I thought we had, we had plenty of room in the capsule to add a couple more cans of beer. So uh, she's got to work with the, the brewery to get the cans. Uh, by the end of the week, Holly, is that, is that the deal? Yeah, I, okay. I told him as soon as possible. He's just checking with his warehouse. Um, I asked him for the 350 beer can um obviously for the 350th but he said um steel rail put them on the map in deerfield and so he also would and or depending upon what he can find he would like to have that included because it did really it was the beer that put them on the map here and i think that's a really a great thought no that's yeah. fantastic it's fantastic stuff i contributed go back to the 1940s actually so so actually, that's great. May, Holly, maybe you could just ask him too to write a two or three liner just to say why this is included, and we can put it in a a sealed envelope and a archival stable thing to go with the beer. Okay. So what we've done um, is everything that went in that was going to go into the time capsule is in acid-free sealed containers, uh, sleeves. So I've reboxed some of that, it's all packed. And uh, I think it's in good shape. Um, the other thing I just wanted to let people know is I've gone through um, and I've prepared a, a bound volume, kind of great big notebook, but to put up at PVMA in the archives 
there's already a 300th ar year archive, 300th anniversary archive. So it's got all of the uh, steering committee meetings. Uh, it's got all the newspaper clippings that people have had, and those are in archival sleeves and that sort of thing. We, we, um, and on acid-free paper, what we did is we scanned them all. So they're all on acid-free paper in these sleeves. And there's other um, more paper memorabilia um, that will go in there, but th that will be up there. So if anybody before the capsule is you know, exhumed 50 years from now wants to know what the heck we did, there will be an archive up there that, uh, that covers that as well. Um, Tim has his hand up, Peter. What is that? Tim has his hand up. Oh, so, oh, sorry, Tim. I didn't That's know okay. if you could see that or not. I'm a guest here. Hard to to hard to it's hard to see, yeah. Oh, no, no. Um, you, you. First, I just wanted to thank all of you for all your hard work on this uh, whole anniversary process. And, uh, and secondly, I want to say that if Gary can't find the uh, special can, I have one. I, I assume you want an empty can. Um, <laughs> so, so I can accommodate. I haven't, I saved it from the, from the gala, uh, but it's a beautiful can. So um, if, if anyone just lets me know he can't find one, I can bring it down. Okay. Thank you, Tim. I don't, I don't know if we're doing empty cans actually, Tim, because, you know, when you're five feet down, you're fine. You're insulated. I mean, it'll me, last, I haven't opened it'll, it. it. It'll last. There's no pressure differentials. It'll last for a long time. I know. I gave it away to the paratroopers from 1994, the can of beer. It was a silent <laughs> auction. It was a very popular item from Holland. Yeah, well, well just let me know. Either, either way, I can go in. <laughs> Okay. Don't you take a straw, Sim? Uh, I think I think we should try both types, right? Empty and non-empty, and it just we have to segregate it so it doesn't get any uh, damage anything else. That's all. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, then moving on, um, the, the working history um, uh, group. The I think I've sent you the link. Uh, to the oral history uh, program on Deerfield's uh, agricultural heritage. Uh, that's the way it was. Um, it's up, it's posted on deerfield350.org. And um, I'm very pleased that it's gotten a really warm reception, both from the participants who were interviewed, as well as for people that have already uh, heard it. So I think it was a good venture as part of the 350th anniversary uh, celebrations. And this will live on. So the other thing, that just to let you know, is I'm intending to continue with this. We have other interviews and I've got other people that I wanna interview. So we're gonna move on with the oral history part of it uh, and see if we can uh, generate some uh, other interviews uh, that we can put out in the future. Peter, because I don't think anybody really pays attention to the 350 page anymore because the bulk of everything we did is completed or almost completed. Yeah. I would like to hope that on town of Deerfield, there would be some place that we could have these and or at the Tilton so people could have access to these. Um, admittedly, I've not made it all the way through, but I'm halfway through um, the... Um, that's the way it is or was or however the title is. And it's delightful. Um, Peter and I sat down and, and watched it. And of course, he knows more players than I did um, from the earlier years. But it's really wonderful to hear the voices and see the photos. So thank you for being part of that. Well, you're more than welcome. It uh, it, it took a bit of doing, but uh, we we got it all wrestled into shape, I yep. think. Uh, I'm yep. looking and forward we, to doing some others. And we have our star, Diane Rotkevich Martin, as well. <laughs> I, yep. I somehow haven't sat and listened and looked at it for some reason. You, you, you'll you'll, you'll like it. You'll yeah, like it. You'll, you'll, you'll like well. it. 
It's absolutely first class. Although Peter did tell me he had to keep, when I was originally interviewed, I put my sentences so close together. He had to keep working to get separate sentences and... I guess that's just the way I talk. That's, that's, that's what happens with oral, you know, oral <laughs> interviews. Is, is that it's just people talking. When you try and uh, create a product that people want to listen to, uh, you don't need the ums and ahs and oh, I didn't mean that, and you know this kind of thing. So that it it takes a while to clean them up. But yeah. I, I think you know what you had to say was right on, and and, and it was delightful. Like to it, it, it was it was really good. You're Thank impressive, you. Diane. Sorry. Thank you very much. And uh, Deerfield Now, I as soon as I saw it, I shared it, and I, I just think it's amazing work, and uh, you got a career in front of you, Peter. <laughs> Sorry, I had two careers already. <laughs> I don't need a third. <laughs> third time's a charm. We're fortunate yeah. to have him here doing as much as he's been doing. I want to thank you, Pete. You've uh, It's incredible. Oh, wow. What a resource you are, and uh, and and, um, and I will speak for the friends of Deerfield on this subject. I mean, our mission is you know is is about um, educating and entertaining the townspeople of Deerfield and surrounding communities, um, and I think we've done a pretty good job so far at that. But we're very interested in this type of history and oral history and documenting it. So um, when and if it's needed, uh, we'll get the money and it will help out. Great, thanks Chris, appreciate that. Um, the last item on the agenda is the update for Friends of Deerfield. Uh, you wanna have anything do you wanna add or well, we sign off on this. I, I want to thank you for all the effort that you put into this and everybody else, friends of Deerfield, for making this event happen. Well, I'm 2,000 miles away, so I haven't done much. But I I think that just as a summary, I think we're all lined up. We're, we're all lined. Um, we've asked uh, Carolyn to um, be kind of the master of ceremonies, if you will, even though this is more informal. But she has been the select board person that was the point person on all the 350 events with the Friends of Deerfield. And, mm -hmm. and of course, she was on your committee uh, when she could be. And so so I think we're uh, pretty aligned in terms of, of what we're going to do. And so we've promised her after Memorial Day a schedule of events. So that it makes it a little easier for her to navigate both at the actual burial, if you will, and then at the luncheon. But there's not going to be a lot of talking. There's not going to be, um, it, we're, we're trying to simplify this, just have people interact and enjoy the event. We're, we're not trying to make it too complex, um, but it'll be a fitting end of the 350th. I guarantee you that, mm -hmm. based on everything they're telling me from the ground. And so, so, the, the, so you know, we've sent out invitations to certain people that helped us along the way, both the 350th committee and the Friends of Deerville, they helped us. And there, some of them are associated with town departments and things like that. Some of them are individuals from the town that really chipped in, if you will. Um, we didn't go to our donors in, in large with that invitation. We thanked them and we've always thanked them along the way, but it's the people that did the work you know what I mean, to make things happen, to facilitate the events. And um, and then we'll go to social media um, after Memorial Day. I think that's probably appropriate. Um, and just announcing what we're doing. And they're, of course, invited to the luncheon that follows it up. So we have at 11.30, the way the plan is, a little ceremony, if you will, in front of the 1821 Congregational Church which is the oldest church in Deerfield, um, and then migrate around noontime to the town hall, and that's where the luncheon will be. And we position this as a thank you lunch. Um, and so that's kind of all I have in terms of a major update. And uh, 
Otherwise, we're handling all the other details, and you'll see it all happen in the next week, two weeks. That's great. In terms of setup. Hey, Tim, tell me if I'm out of line or with town, but can we open the front doors of the church and ring the bell a few times as well? Uh, certainly, Lord. I I I have an access to the to the church keys, so sure, definitely. Um, I think I think it'd I, be a fitting. I mean, we rang them on Founder's Day, and it'd be be nice to ring the bells as the bells go into the ground. You have um, you still have the 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 rope is still there, right? The rope is still there. That's great. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll good. we'll add that to the ceremony. How about that, Chris? Yeah, I leave that totally up to you. I'm 2,000 <laughs> miles away. You guys are going to do right. great Well, job. I just, it, 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 in terms of, uh, and, uh, you know, I, I, I'd extend an invitation to all the committee members and friends of Deerfield if you want to ring the bell just for the hell of it uh, <laughs> or to, to sign off on this whole thing. Uh, yeah. We'll open the door and bring down the rope and you can ring to your heart's yeah. content. I think, we don't have uh, to make think, 350 at this time. I think it's great. I think that uh, but we'd leave it up to, you can coordinate Peter with Carolyn, but you know, when you think about people throwing dirt in or flowers in, then you ring the bell and you go to lunch. And by the time you come back, it's all done. It's all done. And then, all right. That's my, that's, that's my sequencing in my head right now. Yeah. I'm excited okay. to have the bench. I think that's a great way to end and the whole celebration is just just a nice bench for people to sit and just relax on. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. And Melissa across the away, the all the, the woman from England uh mm -hmm. is kind of an avid gardener. So she kind of mm -hmm. looks after plants. I think she'd be willing to go over and uh just make sure the plants near the bench and stuff as well as in yeah. front of the church are in good shape. Yep. She she also helped us with the review stand um to do the decorating um with oh, her nice. husband. Yep. He was involved with the parade as well. So yep. I can guarantee right. you that all the perennial and annual flowers near that bench for this ceremony are going to be perfectly done. <laughs> All right, how about yeah, Kelly? But it's great, it's words? great. We, we, we know that, the woman from across the street, that uh, Peter, and um, it's great. She'll probably water things two days beforehand. <laughs> well, that'll be good. <laughs> Kelly, getting a friend of words? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just but it's shoot, been a pleasure huh? with working with you all, it has. It's been a pleasure. Holly? Um, well, I have to say, Peter, you and I probably are the, the longest stretch um, five years out here. And um, I, I think there's been hurdles along the way, but we've also had a lot of fun. Um, Diane and Kelly came along when I stood outside the town hall one day looking for volunteers and both immediately jumped on board. And so um, I think, yep, this I have to thank both of you. Um, and I think there's been good energy for the various things that we all were interested in and brought to the table. So, um, yep. So I thank you all. Yeah. Great. Well, I want to thank all of you. We've, we've put a lot of time into this. I think it was a great year of events. Uh, I've enjoyed participating personally in talks and stuff like that, but I think the whole uh, ceremony, I think we Given the number of people involved, we did one hell of a job. We made I mean, when I look at the when I look at the material <laughs> from the 350, and when I find oh, 60 yeah. or 70 people signed up for various committees and stuff, um, it it it's, it's mind boggling. But I'm I'm very very pleased. So on that note, I'll take a uh, motion to adjourn. So actually, Peter, before to be, I'm interrupting you as a guest, but what's happening with the 350 steering committee? It's dissolving as of tonight.
fade away. But don't you have to make a motion to do that? No. <laughs> no. Well, no. Jim, does that have to happen with a select board? I don't understand no. that dynamic. No, no, but I, I once again just want to say thanks to everyone. Um, I know uh, a lot of work went into everything that happened last year, so um, town's really grateful to everyone for all your efforts. Okay. Uh, all right. Any motion? I make a motion that we officially adjourn our last meeting. I'll second it. So long, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun. All right. So we got a <laughs> second. Kelly, Kelly, you seconded it, or yeah. Diane? And I'll I'll go along. All right. And the there's my vote too. Yeah. So it's been thank fun. you, everyone, and uh, we'll see you uh, at the burial, if not beforehand. Okay. <laughs> thank you all. Thanks, Diane, Kat, as well. Thank you very much. Good thank night. you. Bye. 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 Diane, thanks Bye. very much. Or, uh, Pat, thanks very much for shepherding us through all this mess. You're welcome. Good thanks, night. Pat. Good night. Good night, Chris. <laughs>